There we go. Take that one out. Took the damage to our shield. And we have won. Uh, ever going to remove the border to the chat that you had for... You can't re... Oh. Um, I can take a look at the colors. I mean, I suppose I could change the, the look of it. I'll take a look in between in between streams, see what I can do. Um, I'll leave it this way for, for this one. One XP, one research point, and a uh, pretty good spear. Seven damage, three poison. This is a pretty nice spear. I like this one. Especially for the early game. Alright. Uh, we do have new equipment. So let's see. Who has... You know what, I, I think I'll give Setsuna the, this new spear. And we could probably give Aroyaru. So Aroyaru currently has 7 damage, two, 5 shielding sword. But I think if we give him a training sword and a shield, that'll give him a lot more protection. And... As much as I like Sierra Mike with this uh, sword, I'm kind of leaning towards giving him the armored arm uh, just because he can use that in one hand. And then I could give Tolpanzer the, the sword or someone else. Like Dracophile, actually. Yeah, let's do it that way. There we go. So I don't have this uh, um, kind of annoying, uh, weak, blunt weapon. And uh, now Dracophile has some magic. Alright, armor-wise. It's not as much armor, but it's a little bit of dexterity. And I don't have a shield for you, but I can get you a shield later. Alright, let's see. Anyone uh, who could really use some armor? Yeah, you can take some armor. There we go. Chicks dig your magic sword. It's terrible. It's terrible, sir. Uh, the boar spear is not great. Um... Would kind of like to get something better, although getting something with shielding, so a, a single-handed weapon would be nice. Uh, I'll, I'll consider it when we get some more shields. I need a lot more shields right now, actually. Might even be worth taking the tech for it. But we will hold off. Um, Tolpanzer did start with the Battle Slingshot, which is 7 range damage, which is pretty nice. All right, we've gathered a lot of wood. And we've got two turns left on that. Why can't you craft shields? Because I don't have the tech for it. It is... I actually need to get light armors first, and then I can get it. Yeah. Maybe rush Ancient Wood since it's so close. That's a good idea. That's a it's definitely something to consider. Um, but what I really need to do is I need to send out a gathering team over to get this wicker and then come back and get some more spider silk. I think that's going to be our next trip. Because I need, I need more uh, gathering tools. I'm not gathering enough. There we go. We've gotten our Herbalist's Hut. So go ahead and get you guys back onto this. We'll let those finish up for now. And now we have the Herbalist's Hut, uh, which also produces uh, some herbs each turn. I do have two research points. 
But again, I'm going to hold off on that because, like I said, I'm going to go over here and there might be something really good right there. I'm going to wait until I get some more food uh, built. There we go. All right. All right, so currently on supplies, just not getting enough of other foods at the moment, so all we're eating is uh, fish. It's apparently not even cooked. It's just raw, raw fish. All right, new expedition. They are going to be the Wickers. And let's see. Uh, Eru Yaru. Farron. Lysane. Dracophile. Dracophile Super Lu. Elil. And Tolpanzer. That should be good. Take some wood. Take one kid. Lots of fish. Yeah, we'll take 100 fish. And we'll take some additional... other foods. Okay, that should be good. Don't have enough herbs right now to make it worthwhile. Uh, I think I need a minimum of 20. So that's going to be fine. And we'll create the expedition. Turn that on, turn that on, that on, that on, and that on. We're not quite getting the plus one movement, but we'll get some extra shielding, which is pretty nice. And move on over here. And we have an encounter. Oh my. As you delve deeper and deeper into the forest, the trees become taller and stronger with every step. I may not be able to get through a challenge here. Uh, many are darkened, withered, or twisted by the darkness, but still, they are more glorious than anything you've seen so far. There is an air of mystery and magic around you. When you look up, you begin to see the trees are more than they seem. Slowly, as if... There's a, there's a space right there. Slowly, as if some mist is lifted from your eyes, you see hanging bridges. Then the frames of houses built into the trees themselves. Stairwell, stairwells winding up from the roots to the very top. Even sculptures, a long-forgotten tavern hold, lantern holders tavern holders? This must have been an elven city. So close to our village, and I have not uh, seen it before. Let's take a closer look. The city has been... has seen better days for sure. Now that you see it, you have no idea how you missed it before. Exactly. <laughs> Every tree, bridge, and house is grand and beautiful, but they look empty, not only because there seems to be no life here, but there is a much deeper sense of solitude and sadness. When you touch one of the trees, you feel a soft powder on your hands, and you realize that all of them are covered in a thin layer of gray ash. <laughs> Grammar Nazi intensifies. Uh, I don't know if we can come back to it if we leave it. But let's try climbing up one of the trees. That's a three skull physical. You try to climb up using one of the wonderfully carved winding staircases that should lead you right to the top of this wondrous city. You soon realize that the gray ash is also very slippery, so it will be a real challenge to go up. Well, let's try it anyway. Seven physical. We are going to... Uh, we're going to take a lot of damage. Um, I might be able to counter tactic. One. I could counter offense one too, but I don't know if there are going to be seven. Let's try it. Okay, we can get rid of one. That is a lot of damage. Counter tactic. There is a four. Let's see if I can counter offense. 
Dang it. That was a wasted card. Alright, so I got 20 damage coming my way, and I guess it's going to have to be Tollpanzer out first. Then Elil. Dracophile. And Super Lou. Ow. Nope. Already lost a card. Elil's going down. Dracophile's going down. Super Alu is doing some damage, though. <laughs> Counter offense. Counter tactic. Oh, poop. Nope. We are going to fail this one, unfortunately. It'd be over here in the dead pile. We have lost. You climb up, the climb up proved to be very tricky, and although you eventually made it up, you feel strangely weakened by the effort. The view from up here is breathtaking. A whole city grows within these treetops as if it were a natural part of the forest. And yet the houses are refined with intricate wooden carvings, passageways among the tree branches adorned with colorful crystal formations. It must have been used for lighting in the past. And every building seems like it was made with passion and artistry. You doubt how practical this was, but it is extraordinarily extraordinary for sure. As you stand looking in awe at the frozen city, the city frozen in time, you feel like there is something watching you. Okay, so we made it up, but um, Eelil has been cursed and will receive five grave wounds that will not heal until the dark magic is removed. All right, we're going to need to go uh, swing by something else then. Continue the exploration. You search through many houses, still slowly and carefully, so, uh, so not to fall to your deaths. You find dining rooms set up for a feast, sleeping chambers with beds made up, playrooms with toys lying ready, lying ready for use, and even an armory. Alas, when you try to touch anything, it turns into ash before your eyes. As you stand baffled in one such room, a soft, sad voice speaks to you. And thus you have followed my path and stand before me as I hoped. Welcome, young ones. I am Alice. Once of the Silver Oak people, now, well, a memory of the past, I suppose. When you turn, a slender, tall elf, garbed in green armor and long, ashen hair, stands before you. Were it not for the ever-empty black eyes and the gray ash covering the soft skin, you would likely think this to be an avatar of the gods themselves. Alright, we've got three choices. Whoa there, elf lady, that's far enough. Keep your weapons out. You shouldn't sneak up on people, elf. We could have hurt you. And, hello, you say you were once the one that brought us here. Or, you were the one that brought us here. Well, we'll try that. I am sorry if I have startled you, young ones. This was not my intent. I am the last of the old Silver Oak clan, and I was cursed to remain here for eternity, lest my people become ash, the same way you saw happen with any object here. As long as I remain, they are safe, but alas, never allowed to return home nor speak to me. Whatever, so why am I here? <laughs> that sounds terrible. Who did this to you? To answer all of your queries, let me tell you my story. Eh, just highlights, please. Okay, go on. Just as I told you, I am here alone, unable to ever see my kin. It has been a thousand suns, and I fear I am feeble in my resolve. Even with the darkness killing most of my kind, I do feel that some are still out there living under this wretched sickness that devours Thea, and yet I can endure my solitude no longer. And yes, elves are akin to magic, but alas, this curse, much like the wretched darkness itself, cannot be lifted by ones inflicted with it. Only the one who cursed me can break it. A thousand suns? You don't mean years, do you? Oh, I apologize. I forget myself. I suppose in your measurements it has been five hundred years. But we digress. My curse was cast by my lover. Scorned and wounded, his hatred grew as strong as our love once was. You see, I chose to stay with my people rather than leave in banishment with him and... For this, he confined me to this wretched fate. And now for my plea. 
I have sensed his presence nearby, and while in the past I have no—I had no recourse to reach out to him, I was able to find you this time. Please, I implore you, go to him and beg for my release. I will give you this red ribbon. It has our initials sewn into it, and he will know one. He and he will know it is from me. Speak to him and set me free. In return, once this curse is lifted, I will reward you with a blessing of elven magic. I'm not making any promises. Point me to the guy and we'll see. Ah, uh, sounds like way too much effort for an unclear reward. Right, find some scorned lover, ask him to lift a curse. Got it. Go with that. Wonderful. I only ask you try, nothing more. I thank you for your time and effort. Even if you were to fail, you have shown kindness. His name is Zadra, and beware. He is, of course, a mage of some great esteem. Here, have a small token of my gratitude. A map of where I felt the tower of Zadra's surface. And we also get seven rubies. All right, off we go. Four XP, one research point. And we are not doing that anytime soon. Uh, I think we need to uh, immediately move and go to the Zeody, but I think we'll gather a little bit here first. Um, let's see if we can get some seaweed out of this. Okay, that would be enough for that. That would not be enough over here, though. 91. Yeah, I definitely need some more some more stuff. Um, hmm. I can get exotic fruit instead, or I could just get a lot of this stuff. Yeah, we'll just get a lot of fruit. I believe we need food for this to remove the curse, so that would be good. Down we go. You enter the ruins of an old town, although you only know this because the ZAD told you so, as there are only stones covered in moss and plant life. But you do see a group of old men huddled together over a large oaken table. Let's walk over to them. The, the Zeody do not turn to you, but one speaks. Grandchildren have come. Our help they seek, but are they too weak? Another speaks up. They come for aid, but rules have to be laid. We take our food that will change our mood. A wicker basket appears before you, and you know these forefathers will not speak to you more unless you feed them. Fifty food. Oh my. Right, so you can take away our curses, give fifty food... Okay, so you said I could come here if we become cursed. 50 food. I don't know if there's a real difference between these two. Cough, cough. Don't mean mind me while I gather these food. Just have wounds that magically refuse to heal. Uh, right, we'll go with this. Okay, good. The good news is that it took mostly fish. Did take a little bit of these other things that I would rather they hadn't taken, but... You think it's a kind of challenge? Well, poop. A third ZD speaks up. You seek our aid and guidance you shall receive, for each dark curse has its own flavor, and so the relief lies in different realms. You will face a challenge, our child, and if you pass, you shall be cleansed. I really should have stopped by the village and just dumped off all my other food and just taken the, uh, the fish. Alright, what sort of challenge? If your body has been wounded by a dark force and will not heal, cursed you are, and you must speak to the spirits of healing to lift this taint. If your flesh is weakened, you must stand by our table and prove you have the tactical wits to outsmart the curse. If you have been deformed by evil forces, you will sneak up to a water nymph and steal a strand of her hair. We can then lift the curse for you. And if you have been cursed by the darkness itself, you will hunt down a Beaz. And once you have him, we will transfer the darkness away from you and into the beast. Don't worry, we will shield you from his attacks if you fail. Oh, uh, we don't actually have anyone cursed with us. We'll come back later. <laughs> After I've given the food. Right, we will speak to the spirits to lift our curse. Social challenge. Alright, so we've got two forlorn wraiths and two wraiths. Offense is speech, defense is will. First action and counter offense are attractiveness. Counter tactic and support ally are intelligence. Shield ally is folklore. And confuse is magic. Also, faint is weapon effects, is uh, poison. 
and find weakness is leech, which we do both. We do have both of them. That is not a lot of damage in my offensive hand. Let's try it. Alrighty. I can get quite a bit of extra damage out with a support ally, at least. So let's put Dracophile out first, because he's got the most defense. Okay, well, the Wraiths aren't that tough. So, Super Lou. Forlorn Wraiths aren't too tough either. But Super Lou is going to need a little bit of support. Well, that's confused, so I don't need to worry about that. So, let's get Elil out. Poop. Rude. Mm. Eh, let's just get closer. It's fine. Not a bad uh, way it went. There we go. All right, we have won. You have proven yourselves to be worthy offspring. We take the curses from away from your souls. Return if you need aid once more. So I think it said it was a two-skull challenge based on the cards, but those cards were not very good at a social challenge. All right, well, Yellow, you are cured of your curse. So that is fantastic. Kind of feel like going back and getting some more food, though. On the other hand, I can uh, actually do that and get plus one movement. Yeah, let's uh, let's do this. I got 27 turns. Hopefully, I'll have enough time to get some good stuff. Getting some extra movement. Hopefully there's some food up there that I can gather as well. Alright, we got uh, three skeletons near us and three skeletons near us, which is a little bit annoying. There is exotic fruit. Which I... Oh my. There are vegetables, though. That's good. That's really good. Um, I'd probably like to sit on the vegetables, which has six malicious spiders. Not too difficult, actually. Let's see if any of them come attack me. Nope. Oh, goody. That's a lot of clay. Alright, so right here is actually going to be better. Just in case I want something different. Yeah, let's go ahead and set up camp. Gather. Alright, that is a lot to get that. Uh, that is unfortunate. Alright, first of all, Farron, you get the vegetables. You guys can help. There we go. So we'll get vegetables every turn. I got enough wood. I got plenty of wood. This is going to be three turns for the wicker. Oof. All right, back in our village, let's see how much wicker we need for gathering tools. Actually, before we do that. Let's make some cooked fish. Queue up some of that when uh, the fish goulash is done. All right, we need four per thing. We got one. And I'd like to get, like, one for everyone. So I'd probably, ideally, like to make somewhere between 10 and 20. <laughs> That's going to be a lot. I 
Also, I re I uh, messed up the name. Oh well. Oh my lord, that is a lot of enemies around us. Alright, six malicious spiders. Let's begin combat. Malicious spiders are not very difficult, however. Uh, let's go with Farron first. It's a good amount of uh, shielding. And then let's get Tolpanzer out. Sane out. Take care of that one. You're gonna come out. You can come out. I could first action you. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and counter tactic one. And we'll confuse another one. That works. Excellent. We have won. And we got a, uh, a Morning Star, which has one dexterity, two damage, uh, bludgeoning. Also got some extra Spider Silk, which is also nice. But we do have to deal with uh, six more Malicious Spiders there, four Warped Snakes, and that. All right, so we got the vegetables. Let's go ahead and manage supplies. If I turn off everything else, that is just two turns. All right, let's leave the fish on. And the, uh, actually we'll leave the uh, fruit on as well. Some more vegetables. All right, we're getting some every turn, so I'm going to leave that on. We'll see how this goes. I should have plenty. And then these guys decide to attack. Four warped snakes begin combat. All of my warriors are in my tactical deck. Thanks, game. All right, you're out first. That is not quite enough to kill you, but that's okay-ish. I can pretty easily first action people, so Farron, come on out. You got good shielding. Another warped snake. Dracophile. Panzer. And I am actually going to first action Tolpanzer. And then get closer and get closer. Yeah, this won't be a problem at all. No injuries at all. Uh, how long am I planning to stream? Yeah, I'm, I'm planning to go for another two hours-ish. Hey, Kijikun, how's it going? Hey, the snakes had meat stew. And six malicious spiders have decided to attack us. Okay, well, we actually have some warriors in our uh, tactical deck. That's good. Insane. Go ahead and take that one out. Kind of surprised it doesn't have poison. Tolpanzer, you come on out. And Eolil, you come on out. Counter tactic and counter tactic. Thank you. <laughs> and first action super Lil. Why not? That didn't come out right. <laughs> Goodbye, spiders. All right, we got a wild branch, which uh, is actually going to be better for someone. 
Six damage, piercing, two dexterity. Two uh, spider silk. Let's see, Lysane. Yeah, this is just better in literally every single respect. Very nice. Okay, 33. Yeah, we're up to four food, so we're definitely gaining. Uh, I got uh, two herbs, one meat. Up to seven wicker. Yay. What are we doing on our production over here? Bump that up. Now with this topaz, I'd probably want to make another sword. Ideally, I'd want some more uh, enchanted bone. I could make a an amethyst sword. That could be a thing. Uh, it'd be five damage, six shielding, plus some. Uh, Straight, you know, some additional bonus. It's so much better than straw plus clay. Yeah, well, in basically every one of my games, straw is always so far away. Now, I do have 25... Uh, actually, you know what? I've got enough uh, research points. I could... I get the well, and I could use, uh, I don't have enough uh, secondary material, actually. Yeah, that's not going to do it. And I'd like to get gold before I try building one of these. Um, hmm. Why don't we see where our gold is? <laughs> Games like, <laughs> screw you. <laughs> can you have a girl character or an animal later? Sure. Uh, you can have uh, one, probably the next one that comes up. So yeah, that uh, that gold. Um, I uh, I don't think we're gonna be getting out that way anytime real soon. That is uh, that is really far away. Might not be getting any good uh, track dwarf. Ah, dang it. Can't see what that was anymore. Hello! Alright, three skeletons. Let's go. Player's turn. Hmm. Let us start with Dracophile. And I'm going to counter offense. And I'm going to confuse you. And I could first action just about anyone, except Aruyaru. Do I want to get you in and do some damage, or do I want to first action? You know what? Let's just first action. There we go. And Farron, and Aruyaru. And that should be good enough. Go west, young man, and find your fortune in the hills. Alright, we've won. And we get a new shield. Which is good. Uh, four armor, three shielding, one dexterity. Not too shabby. And some free mushroom soup. Why the skeletons had mushroom soup and why the mushroom soup is still good is probably not something we should be considering too closely. Yep, here comes some more. Four Karakanzas, which I don't think I ever actually fought in the Let's Play. Uh, okay, good. Our uh, warriors are in the offensive hand. 
Okay, they're kind of tough. They are kind of tough. Um, I can still first action someone, so that's good. Do that, get you in, do some damage. That's 15. I can first action Eolil and take that guy out, so that's good. Actually, I can first action two people. So that's good. Let's get Dracophile out. Ow! Rude. Let's shield you. And let's get Super Lou in. Okay, that guy has bludgeoning. So it's first action you, Elil, first action. Alright, let's see how it goes. Uh, we are going with Lada this time, Kijikun. Wow, look at this stuff. Alright, so we got uh, Monster Bone Shell, very heavy but 12 armor. Uh, we've got a very a good quality pavis, four armor, seven shielding. Excellent. Uh, Smith's apron, six and one. Three armor, four shielding for rib cage. Uh, a thorny warhammer for nine damage, three poison, and a dragonfly song sword for three damage, five shielding, two dexterity, one XP, one research point. And we got some levels. All right, Arrow Yaru, plus one intelligence to eight. Uh, plus one health for Dracophile and Lysane. 16 and 16, very good. Tolpanzer, plus one traps to six. Super Lou, plus one speech to five. Uh, Elil, plus one tactics to five. Farron, plus two gathering. Uh, I might want to re, uh, recheck out our uh, gathering for that. Excellent. And back at our town. Plus one health for Ferris to 14. Plus one health for Lil Bunny to 15. Uh, plus one strength for Sierra Mike to 11. Plus one strength for Mortal Vision to 4. And plus one intelligence for Setsuna to 7. Good stuff. Got more vegetables. Got more stuff there. Alright, let's take a quick look at our equipment. I don't think any either of those warriors are gonna want to change up their equipment, though. And we're doing pretty well on a lot of that equipment. Um, this is gonna be better for Ariaru, but he can't wear it. Okay, and I can't get a better thing for you right now. do have a better shield for Eolil, but it's lighter. I'd kind of like to save that for someone who's a little bit tighter on, on weight. That's three and four. That's the same thing. It'd be better on weight. Hmm. Uh, but we do have a better sword for Ariaru, at least. Okay, if I give you this, Ariaru, can you then take the Smith's apron? You can! Alright, that, that works out. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just uh, go with this. I don't think we have any other equipment that's worth finagling around right now. I mean, I'd really like to get a shield on Tollpanzer, but I need more strength. I need more strength, unfortunately.